deep, huge rocks. Uh, I'm just trying to show, you can see exactly how many rocks on the bottom. What you gonna do? Explain. Put a trip line. Just in case if you have a problem to take anchor back, no? Mm -hmm. Top 10 meters. Yeah, so what you do is you just clip this onto the anchor and throw it over the side. So this will just pull out when the anchor goes down, you know? That's what I said, but it's only locked on the. It's locked on here. Slipped off. Huh? Yeah. All right. It will be snow, but we'll keep. Yes. But I couldn't do anything. Oh, you you can't, know? Once it's running, you cannot touch it. Once it has jumped off. That's so scary, you know. And you never explained mm -hmm. to me what happened. That oh, the anchor's tied off on the end. Till what? To to a piece of rope. So it'll eventually just ding. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, but but we'll I, I had stopped pulling the back. It's just so. There you go. Go to start again. So place what we chose first time wasn't a great idea. Two big rocks and anchor didn't want to catch. We heard the story that the people put the anchor and they tied up the chain all around the rocks even, but it's light, we don't want to play with it. So we move a few meters and we have sand and wheat on the bottom, sand and wheat. Before we anchored and left the boat, it was totally dark. We managed to find a beach restaurant, but unfortunately, the kitchen was closed. Okay. We forgot our lead coming ashore, so we had to buy a lime green clothesline. <laughs> and it's sort of makeshift lead. But yeah, it works. We need something that goes on to his choke chain, so that's how he knows the signals for his choke chain. Of course, he thinks it's his new toy. Good boy. And we're in this place. It's closed, so we didn't get any dinner. Because it's after 9 o'clock, so it's too late. We will eat here maybe tomorrow. It's just empty. It's just before season, so... Max? You have internet? That's a thing. And ice cream. And ice cream. This like dental floss for you. What you doing? So it was back to the boat for sandwiches. Just sitting here in Lindos at night, watching this castle on the hill. The light is on it, and then we see the king's face. Look at the the bright light just on the top on the right side. The wall. And the rocks on the walls created like a face. I hope you will be able to see it on the video. It's so cool. The king's face. In Lindos castle. Okay, maybe I'm not so pretty today morning. But the place where we are is gorgeous. I like these moments. You come to the places when it's dark. You don't know where you are, you wake up in the moment in the morning and you're discovering them. Love it. We're going to swim today. Because water is gorgeous. There is a beach. I think we will be diving.
Thank you. How did you manage to bring it to the place? On the boat? On the boat? This was amazing. Like every uh, town in Greece, like uh, are white with the blue roofs. And here is just white houses. And that's how you see on inside the streets. All white with this yellow stone. White and yellow. It's so different. Nice. Love it. And as you say, you don't know where you are. Really. It's a labyrinth. It is a labyrinth. Definitely it's a labyrinth. Because we're in um, Greece, we could be in um, the Minotaur's maze. Hey, hi, Jonathan. Hi, Boston. Hi, hi. We're going up. It is Leon. This way. This way, Leon. <laughs> He go for free hugs. He loves it. Look at this beautiful gate. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, what a beautiful street. You go if I need to make a photo. video recording. It was a nice day. We have so a really lazy day we've been on the beach. It's like having a day off. Yeah. Because it's really hard work. <laughs> no, but sailing yeah. and minding a boat is hard work. You're always It's not hard work, but you're always doing something. There's always something to do. You have, you have your, you have your duties, duties to keep the boat going. Yeah. So when they you do take a time. So when you have a day like today, that you just on the beach, playing with sand, playing with water. Playing and that was still only a half day because we still did our duties this morning. You had your homeschooling with Max and... Yes, why stop kicking you? Doing well, it's good morning, Lindos. Well, we're a bit late, it's nearly noon. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful place. This is the cliff walk overlooking the uh, anchorage. There's Zarafet down there. We had a few boats in last night, all went off early this morning. We're waiting on our weather window, so we'll be going out of here 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, winds turn southerly, so we start moving up to the islands. So yeah, we'll have probably a hectic week. We'll probably have three or four island hops over the next six, seven days. Uh, yeah, we're walking along here. With first mate, Max. And yeah. So very, very, very pretty place. Nice. Highly recommend it for, uh, if you're looking for somewhere to come and just switch off, this is the place to be. It's just before seven. Left Lindos is after seven o'clock. What date is today? 20th or 21st? 19th? No. 20th. Then it's 20th maybe. Have to go over the side. That's how we live, we don't know what day it is. Uh, outcrops of, of, of uh, rocks here just to make sure we clear them. Got the fishing line in the water because sunrise, sunset are the best time to catch fish. And uh, yeah, wind is as predicted, so hopefully we have a good passage. We expect the bigger wind than this. Uh, yeah, but it's still early. And it's on the nose until we get to the corner of Rodos, and then when we start turning away, we shelter the wind behind us. 
We're trying to get to Anstipalea, but to, today only to Tilos. Yeah, we get to Tilos, I think that's good. You know, that's 70 nautical miles there, thereabouts. So that's a good day. Get that one in. And yeah. Max is still sleeping. Max is still sleeping. Mm. So, good morning. Yeah. And our sailing dog is just right. He's not nervous, he's just laying down ready for bath. Good. 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 Yeah. Don't be scared. He's Don't not scared, he just knows now. What are you doing in there, baby? Yeah. Did you find anything? The pump itself, the body of the pump is quite hot. So um, I don't know if it's just the head of the pump where the water runs through. It could be like a kettle, it could be full of like stone, calcium. Um, so I think we'll probably have to strip it out. Next job. Next job. It's always something. You won't get bored, I'll tell you that. <laughs> It'll go on the list. Okay, on our way to Tilos, that's uh, the northern side of Rodos there. It's the northern tip. Then we have Halki, and Tilos is somewhere in the distance. We're dead downwind. We have boomed out headsail. We have our main out. Uh, I'm not going to put her out any further because she's touching the shrouds there and you get a lot of wear and chafe if it's too much. Still getting a bit of drive off the leading edge, that's about all we're going to get on that. So yeah, quite a unconventional rig for a catamaran. This is Kraut's typical design, the masthead catamaran, boomed out head sails. We've actually two spinnaker poles in a catamaran. There you go. So yeah, we've 10 to 12 knots of wind, uh, up the chuff as they say. A little bit slow on sail alone, we're only doing just under five knots. So we have the one engine on, about 1200 RPM. Just giving us a little bit more bite, so we're just tipping along six knots. And that's more just that we make decent passage time. And uh, we're trying to get into Tilos for around 6 p.m. So yeah, that'll be basically a 12 hour, 12 hour so yeah. Okay. We are in Tilos, came last night. Yeah, we arrived here about, I'd say about 6, 6.30. Um, the sun wasn't shining, so the place kind of looked a little bit drab. Um, it's a really, really, really quiet place. There is nothing to do. Even TripAdvisor and the guidebooks say. Yes, if, if, what to, if today was like, what to do in Tilos? And the answer was take a tan. <laughs> yeah, so there's nothing to do here. I think there's a monastery somewhere in the centre of the island that you can trek to. Uh, but that's about it. And even if you, they say you can hike over here, that you have few hiking ways. But if you look at it around, all those mountains, they have no trees. So if it's really hot and you're hiking, I don't think it would be that pleasant, no? Yes, a lot of retirees here. Actually, a lot of British here, which is surprised. Seems to be like... Um, British retiree resort and um, uh, the beach is not sandy yeah stony beach and the stones come quite a bit offshore there's a lot of weed so when we were anchoring it took us it was only on the sixth set that we got the anchor to hold we're trying over we're trying over there and there and there even on the map is that 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 place over there is uh, designated anchor, anchorage but all boats has to be just just here close Close to enough harbor. to the harbour where there's a bit more silt and a le less uh, less weed. And the twice per day comes big ferry and make a waves. So yes. <laughs> so I think the one night just for relax it's enough yeah. and. Just and we were wondering sleep. was it just us? But a boat came in behind, after us and they only got on the third set. And I was chatting to another guy who's here anchored beside us, and he said there was a guy here the night before and he tried seven times further on down, couldn't set the anchor. So just we were pulling weed. Just pulling weed. And then when that happens here, you don't you don't feel overly confident then in how good is your anchor at holding on the bottom. It was very rolly here last night. I mean, we're on a catamaran and we're rolling. So imagine some of these guys in the monoholes, you could see the tops of the mast just, you know, left to right. It must have been horrible. But anyway, we decided we're just going to move on. And we don't have the winds to get to Astipalea, so we're going to head a little more north, probably try and reach either Mandrakia or Kos today.
Max doesn't want to go to Manjaki because he thinks it's a volcano and it's gonna. He thinks it's a volcano. It is a volcano, but he thinks it's gonna explode on us. <laughs> well, you don't know. We're not in control of that bit. But yeah, if it's there and it happens, what can you do? Max, do you want to go to Mandraki and see this volcano? Why not? Because I'm scared to uh, make a hole and all the lava will come out. <laughs> What's you showing? Are you reading book? No. I'm well, I could read it now. We're going to meet some friends in Kos and... And we missed Mandraki and went straight to Cardamene and Kos. And why did we go there? I suppose the wind brought us here. Wind direction. We're trying to get to uh, Astipalea and we couldn't couldn't get there because the wind was obviously blowing from that direction. So we decided, okay, let's try and get as high up as we can on the eastern side of the islands and then we could possibly get better angle to go across. And um, we came in here uh, after leaving Tilos. We knew we were going to have to try and get some water because we were having problems with our lift pump on a water maker. So we came in here. Okay, it's a cheap port. It's seven euros a night, three euros for power, seven euros for water, but obviously you can just fill up every other day so you don't have to pay a lot for water. And um, it's kind of like a strip where people would sort of hang out. But what we have seen is the arrival of the all-inclusive hotels. Let's go, oh, I'll show you. Maybe we can. So that's the local port, local harbor. It's just small, no even big boats, no super yacht. Just two, three catamarans, maybe two, two sports boats working sports here. Boats and that's it. That's it. Okay, and that's the strap, like a promenade. Yes. With the bars, bars and, and restaurants. Restaurants and that's what you're trying to say. On the end over the there. End, we have a and on other the over there is uh, two large all inclusive resorts. So yeah, people are arriving here for all inclusive holidays and they're not leaving the hotels, not walking around the strip. So all the local businesses are kind of they're dying. So I when you're in all inclusive shops don't forget to go at least once or twice outside and support the locals. Go for a walk, discover the local area. So, because of that, we have really quite promenade. Yeah. We're here for a week waking on the part. Because, um, as I explained, our water pump started work, stopped working for our water maker. So, we've ordered a new one. Uh, should be here on Wednesday. Obviously, then we missed our slot to get across to Athens. Monica needs to travel back to Poland for a few days with Max. So, um, because it's our closest airport. Now it cost is going to be our closest airport. So Sorry. I'm here minding the dog and the boat for a few days while Monica's gone, so I'll be home alone. So we are in the place what we even didn't take into consideration on our road. And now we stuck here for three weeks, it became our home, our uh, logistic point. <laughs> it's just yeah. so funny how the But it's, 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 it's good, Max has friends here. There's actually a lot of um, like English people who have married into the Greek community and so there's bilingual kids, so Max is playing with a group of kids who speak Greek and English, and yeah, he's loving it. He comes home every evening absolutely exhausted. Evening? He comes home at night? Right, he's coming home really 11 o'clock at night, exhausted. Yeah. Well, Max had plenty of time for friends, we had time to sort out things on the boat. Where did we show them? We have to leave the dinghy on the boat, and that's what we do. Michael said, yeah. Daddy, show yourself. I'm just going to watch the action. Move away. I don't know if you see the dinghy, but oh my god. Oh my god. Now you can see the dinghy. I don't know if you see it. But I definitely see it. And the dinghy is home! Now let it go, Max. Yeah. 
so it's now over eight and a half months since we left our home and since you've been in school so nearly four years of homeschooling on boat yes. in those eight months what the most surprised you in this lifestyle what surprised me the most i got two yes tornado probably like tornado slash water sports water spout mm -hmm. and second is Nearly when we fought, we caught a fish, and, and, and when it was pulling, we thought it was, it was a fish pulling, but it was a bag picking up the water. <laughs> so that surprised you. Okay, what do you like about this lifestyle? I probably like the most. Uh, Could you speak to coming? You like the swimming? Yeah. Could you pick the hair from probably the Probably two things that um, we don't stay in one place where I could get bored. Mm -hmm. And that lands with us. Okay. Uh, what you don't like about this lifestyle? That that sometimes we got big waves and not fair winds. And that when we were when you when you wanted to record it right now, I was in the middle of a video working something. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's not about lifestyle. Okay. 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 You guys are right. So, you know, the first one. No, what do you think about homeschooling? What do you think about this that you don't go to school and you study on the ball? And when I want. Hmm. What do you like about this? You like this? Yeah, that I can wake up any time I want. Mm -hmm. But you still have to do your stuff. Yeah, and I kind of woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning today. Did you? But normally you wake up later, no? So in homeschool we have a lot of projects. We study from books, from visiting yeah. places, we do our own art projects. What do you like the most? Would you like to tell us about this? And what do I like the most? And what do I like the most? Books? Tests? Forget about the tests, I hate them. And I would probably say projects like painting, drawing, mm -hmm. making. I also like the games. You like the games? Is that study as well? Yeah. It's educational? Yeah. It right. What about friends and the social life? When you're living that way, everyone worried that you will not have a friends. What would you say about this? That, um, put that in your trust and just think about that I do have friends. You do have friends? Yeah. How are you getting your friends? Just finding them and then I just... I actually don't know. Were they coming on your boat? On the middle of the ocean? No, we were in the marina. And um, I just see some children and, it, and, I, and then I say something. Uh, I, I say something in English or Polish to them and if they answer me and in the language of what I'm speaking, then yeah. We organize, we organize and when catching the contact with oh, yeah. them yes and yeah, also we actually have... like um, when we're in Freddy and like Nathan, Gabriel, Kai yeah they Kai were all Hopper. children who living the same style like yeah, you I'd probably see and them. also we have a visitors with children yeah so you always have a friend sometimes mm -hmm. and we... sometimes they come on the boat when we're in arenas like when we watch the movie mm -hmm. and like I think on the first day were you on my boat on the first day ever huh? were you on my boat where we are. Yeah, okay. From first day, yeah, yeah. we only came yeah. and that's a Max's friend, Eva. We are in Greece here. He's and studying the king of Greece. Okay, and another question is how would you judge the last year what we are on the boat from one till ten? One till ten? Yeah. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. <laughs> Do you think this? You want the way to this? Lisa? You don't want to be? I kind of don't want to, but I want to. <laughs> you want to be in two places in one go? Yeah, I wish I could just... I wish there was a copy. I could copy myself and see what my copy sees. Mm 